I spent three years since I graduated from university. I haven't found a job, and now even Kathy's left me. I wonder how she is now. Telemarketing, waitering, even McDonald's. I mean, I've tried everything. And even if I find a job, after rent, the bills, there's nothing left for me. <sighs> this is no kind of life. That's the girl who moved in next door recently. Seems like just one last hope that life has to offer. Ugh. If I were working for a big company, then I would try to get close to her somehow. Well, too bad for a loser like me. Just look at her. Her eyes, her hair, She's beautiful, totally my type, just perfect. I'd die just to talk to her, if only I could find a way. Nah, I shouldn't try to talk to her. I might not even get to watch her like this ever again. But there's something strange about this girl. Look, look. She's fine one moment, and the next thing you know, she starts to scream into empty space. Maybe she had a tough day at work, but is this how she distresses every night? let her know that I'm here, staring, at least not yet. That look, she's venting out all her frustrations, probably getting back at every single scolding her boss gave her at work, but something doesn't look right, as if she's talking to someone, right? in front of her. Whoa. She's even shedding tears now. Almost too real. But what if that's not her simply relieving her stress? What if she's actually talking to someone? Something there. But she's so perfect. If only I could be next to her. All the things that she throws at herself, all that pain, I'd be able to accept all of that. Oh. She's picking up her phone. Who could it be calling at such an hour? Hmm. She looks happier now. Maybe her boyfriend? <laughs> what am I saying? Surely a pretty girl like her would have a boyfriend. No, there can't be. It's been over a week since I've seen that girl. Her boyfriend should have dropped by at least once. She's coming, she's coming towards the window. Wow, she's even more beautiful up close. If only I had a girlfriend like her. I would have something to live for. I can't believe it. She's looking at me. Well, if I hide now, I'll look suspicious, right? But what should I do? Will she think that I was peeping at her? Nope, I'm totally calm and natural. One look and she'll obviously fall for me. She has to be different from the rest of those girls out there. She'll know how good of a person I am. But what should I say? What should I... Oh no, she's disgusted. Of course, what was I expecting? I'm an idiot for believing that she'd be any different. She's just like them. 
There's no one out there who'd see me for who I am, really. What did I do wrong? Why can't I be loved? Why won't you look at me? of it. How long are you going to be like this? I don't want to do this anymore. Please, won't you just let me go? It's already been three years since you passed away. My life must go on. Hey Jenny, what's up? So tomorrow is your big audition. How's it going? Having a nice conversation with your dead boyfriend? <laughs> I don't know. The play is too complicated. It's a bit difficult to grasp the emotional concept. Like, how am I supposed to have a conversation with a ghost? <laughs> well, too bad there's nothing you can do. That's just how the script is written out. But think on a positive note. I heard that you're full of luck these days. You were so happy that you found a studio apartment to rent for almost nothing. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I should be. But this place still gives me the creeps. I mean, I just moved in. And I guess, because I'm rehearsing for a horror play, I always feel like somebody's... watching. Why are you telling me this now? I'm really scared out of my wits because of the empty house next door. Hello? Anyone there? Hey, what's wrong? I could not even scream. I could not let him know that I saw him.